Solving childhood cancer is a really big goal. Kids with cancer can't wait for cures. And it takes a lot of innovative thinking, but it also requires a lot of collaboration, a lot of sharing of knowledge. And when we talk to our scientific advisors and ask them, how could Alex's have a big impact? Where is there a gap in childhood cancer research? They told us that they thought there was a gap in data. And so we put together a great team of scientists and programmers at the Childhood Cancer Data Lab. To make experiments go faster, to make discoveries go faster, and ultimately to get to cures faster by giving them tools and resources for data. Our mission is to empower pediatric cancer experts poised for the next big discovery with the knowledge, data, and tools to reach it. Without Alex's Lemonade Stamp, I would not have had the resources that I needed to be able to sift through such large data sets. What used to take researchers hours or maybe days to download and start analyzing, we want to make it so that is a matter of minutes. Refine.bio, which has harmonized 1.3 million data samples and made those available free for researchers around the world. We estimate that it probably costs around one to one and a half billion dollars to create that data. So what used to take researchers a matter of days to put together, they can add samples to their cart, download them, and get started analyzing data as soon as possible. Also, we've created the Single Cell Pediatric Cancer Atlas. We paid for sequencing of tumors, and this represents 25 to 30 different childhood cancers. The Single Cell Pediatric Cancer Atlas makes cutting edge single cell transcriptomic data available to researchers in a quick and uniformly processed manner. We also train researchers to put their data to use. We want to show researchers how to turn data and analysis into knowledge that answers their scientific questions. So you can see that I've got a data folder and that one's subdivided into raw data and process data. We've trained somewhere around 200 researchers. As a part of Alex's Lemonade Stand Foundation, we're proud to make our tools openly available and open source and available to labs of all different sizes. And we train researchers for free, so it shouldn't matter how big or small your lab is. I'm Rebecca Mancusi, a third-year PhD student in Dr. Michelle Manje's lab at Stanford University. We're currently studying a rare and lethal form of pediatric brain cancer known as DIPG. I've been working with Alex's Lemonade Stand for the past year and a half. It's been instrumental in moving my project forward, in moving our lab's research forward, and in moving the field forward. So I'm forever grateful for their help Northwestern Mutual has been supporting efforts to realize better treatments and cures for childhood cancer for over a decade. And we are honored to be the founding sponsor of the Childhood Cancer Data Lab. What we especially liked about the Data Lab is not only that it amassed and harmonized massive amounts of data, that it helped train over 200 researchers on how to better access and utilize that data. In fact, we even hosted training centers at our network offices around the country. The Data Lab is serving a critical need in our shared fight to cure pediatric cancer, and we look forward to even more success in the years ahead. Over the next five years, we want to train 200 more researchers. We want to expand the types of workshops that are available and that we offer, and we're going to continue to uh, conduct user research and find out what people need from us. When our daughter Alex set up a lemonade stand in our front yard, she wanted to make sure that all kids with cancer would have a chance to be cured. And we've been able to fund research all over the country, all over the world at this point. And we've been able to start important initiatives like the Childhood Cancer Data Lab. And I think Alex would be really proud, and I know I'm really proud to say that her little stand made discoveries like this and the creation of tools like this possible. We see a future where the therapies are less toxic, where kids are getting diagnosed earlier, and really we see a future where every child can survive childhood cancer. We know that the Childhood Cancer Data Lab will be a part of that by giving researchers the tools they need, by teaching them new techniques and using data, and by making data freely available. So we're not done yet. 
We're gonna keep working hard at Alex's Lemonade Stand Foundation and the Childhood Cancer Data Lab. And we hope that you will help us in our fight to make a cure for all kids a reality.